Welcome to Art Chicago. This is the work of Myung Bum Kim. The sculpture is for outdoors. It's by an artist named George Rickey, who died in 2002 at the age of 96. George is probably the best known kinetic sculptor in the world. This is Pedro de Mobian, a younger kinetic artist. He's 40 years old. Pedro's first show in our gallery was actually attended uh, by George Rickey, who sat very quietly in the corner of our gallery and sort of watched. This is a new sculpture by Peta Coyne, who's an American sculptor. And this is an example of her recent work. It's called Raise the Red Lantern. It refers to the Chinese film by that name. And there's an allusion to someone who's both alive but dead at the same time, metaphorically. And it's made from wax, uh, flowers, silk, all kinds of materials and has a kind of embodiment of life and death. Mika Hashimoto is, as you might have guessed, Japanese-American. He was born in Colorado, but he grew up in Walla Walla, Washington. So you see that the kite formations of things that look a little bit like kites come honestly. He has some of them made in China and others like these little small ones that are made in his studio. All the elements are hand collaged. He has to work vertically, horizontally, and in depth. And I don't know really how he does it, but it's, uh, it, it comes out perfectly wonderful. This is a piece by an artist named Laurent Millet who's a young artist from France. He came to us as a photographer, but he's always been an artist to sort of push the envelope about what is possible he's in photography. He's going to cross the mediums. Yes. He's a very layered thinker. So it's not just creating a body of work, it's really about creating a whole universe. This is a work by an artist collective out of Paris called LLND. It's Lorraine and Natalie Dupree, and it's an interactive installation. If you take the needle, begin to record, then you'll get a certain sound and a character that appears uh, on the screen. This is one of the most recent incarnations of Richard's work. It sort of follows under the umbrella title of a futile attempt to know oneself. And why it's that is because all of these are self-portraits of Richard. Uh, the scale is 1 25th, so that's one quarter. I find that kind of curious. If we shrink ourselves to 1 25th and our heads are the size of golf balls. <laughs> <laughs> and all incarnations of his multiple personalities. Yeah, yeah the way he, he does them is he sits in front of a mirror and he makes these faces and then he models them in uh, plaster scene faces. He says at the end of the day sometimes his face is going into twitches yeah. and stuff like that. He's got cramps. Yeah. Excellent. This is a piece uh, by David Hevel, who's an artist from Oakland, California. Um, David uh, uses taxidermy forms in his work and then various mixed media. And overall his work is a, sort of about a skewering celebrity culture and our obsession with it. This piece is, is one that he did not um, attach to a specific celebrity. Because it kind of looks like Britney. <laughs> It, a little bit. Um, he's, she, he's used years before. This piece is called Chinese Babies Are Very Popular Among Celebrities, that is. And again, it's making a commentary about how sort of I'm going to a foreign country and adopting a baby has become this new Hollywood accessory. Right. And our obsession with celebrityhood is, you know, can be referenced by all these sort of little bits and baubles and how we can't look away from them. Us Magazine yeah. and The Superficial and yeah. TMZ, we can't stop looking, um, looking at them. Preparing the next generation of media professionals. Flashpoint Academy, Chicago's Digital Media Arts College. Ignite your potential.